Hello fragrance community, this is The Right Scent and you're listening to your old buddy from Swindon, Mr Rorschach. How's everybody doing today? You're doing well? Okay then, so if you're looking for something a little bit new from the fragrance community, a, a channel which is certainly not woke, then please subscribe to The Right Scent. I'm going to be talking about perfumes, uh, the latest trends, the, you know, the latest scents, uh, I'm going to be doing some previews, some reviews, lots of things all to do with, with smelling lovely. This is my collection as you can see, I've got two shelves going on here and I've got quite a uh, substantial uh, amount of flacons going on there, haven't I? Some of my favourite scents and if I could just pick out um, a random top five. Uh, Pardon from Nasamato, very strong, very chocolatey, very oody, uh, quality scent from, from Nasamato. Only 30 mil for about 100 quid but it's definitely worth it if you haven't jumped aboard the the Nassimato train so far then then give them a try you, you won't be disappointed and yeah i think pardon is a very safe scent i can't imagine anyone not liking this one okay so we've got kinski old school 70s masculine which you also get from gavanche gentlemen and aramis but uh this is probably my favorite example of um, 70s masculine powerhouse uh, Beau de Jour, I've just reviewed this one on my channel, absolutely adore it. It's a complex lavender, but there's there's more going on than just the lavender. It's uh, very old school as well. It's got a an old spice kind of vibe to it, but it's uh, definitely complicated or complex, um, interesting. And whilst harking back to the past, there's something very modern about it. So yeah, I love, love this scent. I've got Casanova for our Miss Dars de Parfums, 1725. Very romantic, very, very dreamy, very sensual, very seductive. And I've got Tobacco for me, probably one of my all time favourites there. Got the 100 mil flacon, I like it so much. Uh, tobacco Oud, which I also like for the winter months. Uh, pure Malt, very underrated scent. Scent, very, very boozy, very nice from Mr. Moogler. And we've got this one here that not a lot of people will be um, aware of. It's called Citron Bobbly. Uh, it's by um, Le Jardin Retro V. Uh, you can get it online. It's a French perfume. What does it smell like? Well, it's a fizzy, effervescent sherbet lemon. Absolutely deliciously adorable. Perfect for the, the spring and summer months. So that's just a, a quick taster of some of the, the perfumes in my collection, which is always expanding. I uh, miss tobacco reserve like that one as well. So yeah, it's difficult for me to, to pick a, a, a top five because there's so much stuff here that I like. Uh, Fathom five, cool water on steroids. Oops. So yeah, lo lots of stuff going on in, in my collection. Don't worry, it's okay. Okay, so please subscribe to my channel if you want to hear me talk about scents. I promise, I promise, promise, promise. I say, that's out of four promises. And not to talk about politics. I'll keep this all about the, the perfumes. We do need our, our safe spaces away from the insanity of the modern age, don't we? And uh, that's what my perfume hobby is all about. So I'm just going to be talking about the perfumes. I'm going to keep all the, the politics out of it. So if you want to hear more from me, please subscribe to my, to my channel, The Right Scent. And thanks for checking out this video. I very much appreciate you. Take care, everyone. And I'll catch you all, hopefully, later.